Maximizing Treatment Outcomes with REBT and MI for Addiction Recovery Hello and welcome to our video on Rational Emotive Behavior Therapy REBT, and Motivational Interviewing MI, in the Treatment of Addiction. Addiction is a complex problem that affects not only the individual but also their family, friends, and society as a whole. REBT and MI are two evidence-based therapies that have shown promising results in the treatment of addiction. In this video, we will provide a detailed explanation of REBT and MI, and explore how these two models can be integrated to enhance treatment outcomes. Part 1, Rational Emotive Behavior Therapy, REBT, REBT is a type of cognitive behavioral therapy that was developed by Albert Ellis in the 1950s. The core premise of REBT is that it is not events that cause us emotional distress, but rather our beliefs about those events. In the case of addiction, individuals may have irrational beliefs that lead to maladaptive behaviors, such as substance abuse. REBT aims to help individuals identify and challenge their irrational beliefs, and replace them with rational beliefs that are more adaptive. REBT consists of several stages. The first stage is the assessment stage, where the therapist helps the individual identify their irrational beliefs and how they relate to their addiction. The second stage is the intervention stage, where the therapist works with the individual to challenge their irrational beliefs and replace them with rational beliefs. This is done through a variety of techniques, such as disputing irrational beliefs, homework assignments, and behavioral experiments. The final stage is the maintenance stage, where the individual learns to maintain their new rational beliefs and behaviors over time. Part 2, Motivational Interviewing, MI, MI is a client-centered therapy that was developed by William Miller and Stephen Rolnick in the 1980s. The core premise of MI is that individuals are more likely to change their behavior if they are motivated to do so. MI aims to enhance an individual's motivation to change by exploring their ambivalence towards their addiction and helping them to identify their own reasons for change. MI consists of several stages. The first stage is the engagement stage, where the therapist establishes a rapport with the individual and explores their ambivalence towards their addiction. The second stage is the focusing stage, where the therapist and individual identify specific goals for treatment. The third stage is the evoking stage, where the therapist helps the individual to explore their own reasons for change and the potential benefits of change. The final stage is the planning stage, where the therapist and individual work together to develop a plan for change. Part 3, Integrating REBT and mi RET and MI are two complementary therapies that can be integrated to enhance treatment outcomes for addiction. REBT focuses on challenging irrational beliefs, while MI focuses on enhancing motivation to change. By integrating these two models, individuals can learn to identify and challenge their irrational beliefs, while also exploring their own reasons for change and developing a plan for change. The integration of REBT and MI can be done in several ways. One way is to use REBT techniques to challenge irrational beliefs about addiction, while also using MI techniques to explore an individual's motivation to change. Another way is to use MI techniques to explore an individual's reasons for change, while also using REBT techniques to challenge any irrational beliefs that may be hindering change. In conclusion, REBT and MI are two evidence-based therapies that have shown promising results in the treatment of addiction. These two models can be integrated to enhance treatment outcomes by helping individuals to identify and challenge their irrational beliefs, while also exploring their own reasons for change and developing a plan for change. If you or someone you know is struggling with addiction, we encourage you to seek professional help from a trained therapist who can guide you through the process of recovery. Thank you for listening to this video. This video is intended for educational purposes only and in no way is intended to offer legal, medical, or psychological advice or treatment. If you seek such help, contact an appropriate licensed professional.